Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about what to look for when you're looking for a wedding photographer. Ton of options out there, it can be overwhelming. If you've been doing this search at all for any amount of time, it is it can be data overloading. Like so many portfolios to look through, so many great pictures, uh, different levels of experience, different pricing. Pricing can be crazy. So I'm going to make a three-part video series. This one's going to focus on portfolio, what you're looking at when you're looking at a photographer's portfolio. Um, then we'll talk about the photographer themselves. And then uh, last video will be about pricing. But let's look at uh, portfolio real quick. So uh, what I got here is kind of a mix of um, really, really, really old work, like pictures you don't want, you don't want your pictures to look like this, like cold blue standing outside with coats on. You want something that is more natural, more you guys, and but bright and well for me, bright and colorful. Uh, some folks like more of that muted look. Um, I go for fun. I want you to enjoy the process, getting your picture taken, and I aim for really bright, vibrant color. And I want your personalities to come out. So if your personality is more uh, being happy, or if it's being more dramatic, it's going to be you guys, um, or something kind of in between. So, daytime pictures are easy, right? Anybody can take great daytime pictures. That's not what this part is about. I'll give you one more example. So this is what the uh, the the natural light photographer. In I do use a lot of natural light, but I use a lot of flashes too in my work. And hopefully during the daytime when I use the flash, you're not going to be able to tell um, that it was actually used. Um, but let's talk about uh, golden hour. So you will see wedding portfolios chalked full of golden hour pictures because it's super super pretty it's soft light that comes in it's really flattering it makes everybody look great you can kind of see the sun back here here's our sun back here and again here's our sun back here can't go wrong with this only downside to golden hour it's only lasts for an hour actually it lasts for like 45 minutes it's not even a whole hour half of your wedding your reception is going to be after dark um, and if it's not after dark it's going to be soon there after dark or more likely in sun so let's see what that looks like this is what um, your more inexperienced or natural life photographer is going to give you they are going to take their camera they're going to stick a flash on top and it's just going to illuminate that area right in front of them so as we see these two ladies here they're lit up but you can't see what's going on back here not not real pretty same thing here it's you get what's going on in front can't tell what's going on in the background um, and which is a shame because this was a really 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 pretty venue and they did a great job with it but only the front part of it's getting lit up so what what should it look like is that we're gonna take um, lights we're gonna put them on stands small little lights I'll put them in the four corners of your venue and we will light the place up um, here's one example of it. You can actually see one of the lights in the background. Sometimes you'll be able to see them, sometimes you won't, but the lights will crisscross and um, it's more dynamic lighting. It's not that flat, washed over look um, like that. Like that is just blowing them up in the front. You, that's what you don't, don't want. This is what you do want. You want uh, flattering light that comes in from the sides, is not blasting them from the front. Um, another great example right here is um, your on-camera flash. Once again, camera flash is not going to be able to get these guys because they're out on the dance floor. Um, and if you crank up the gain on your camera, then all of this back here is just going to get bright and washed out and you're still not going to have that dynamic look there. Um, what some uh, natural light photographers will do will say, okay, so I've got my camera, my own camera flash, and I'm just going to bounce the light off a wall or off a ceiling, and it, it'll fill up the room. But that's great. What if you don't have white walls? Then you're going to get like a funky looking color on people's skin. What if their ceilings are really, really, really tall? A lot of venues out there have really tall ceilings. What if you're outside? Here's a great example. And I think i got a couple of more here as well. Um, you're not going to be able to bounce a light here. You need you need the remote lights. So enough about that. Oh, actually, we're not quite done yet. Um, 
you want to look at uh, whatever photographers that, that you're whittling it down to, you want to look at full weddings from them. I suggest two or three. Disclaimer, looking at somebody's wedding that you don't have like an emotional connection to can get really, really, really boring. You still kind of want to flip through it and you want to look for consistency. And um, like I said, I usually send two or three. Um, this is what a wedding will look like when you get it back from me. This is uh, how it's hosted online. You kind of scroll down, like I said, it kind of pops, uh, moves back and forth. Um, but you've got your controls here and there. So we're in ceremony right now. And I'll, I'll usually break it down into two parts, ceremony and reception. They have they happen to do a rehearsal as well. Um, you're looking for consistency. Um, you're imagining your, your wedding here, okay. She was cracking me up. She had a double nose bleed, like right before everything was kicking off. So um, detail shots, all that kind of good stuff. Um, guys getting ready, but but you see my point that um, you you want it to look bright, colorful. Not do we, do we dare show another example of bad photography. Uh, hurts my heart. Oh, here's here's daylight daylight photography. You can really mess up hard shadows coming in. Um, I've got these guys standing outside right in direct light, not very flattering. Um, back to what we were looking at. Let's drop you down to reception. You want to be able to go through the reception. The first part of this reception is the daylight. We're going to scroll through real quick. Oh, and this is funny um, because the speeches were done outside, but then we move inside to uh, not, not that building, the building next to it. But we go inside um, for dancing and what have you. But um, you got to be able to have a photographer that can light all this up. I promise it's coming. And here comes the sunset. There we go. We get speeches beforehand, and we had some more words um, after dinner. So um, look through a couple of different full weddings. Um, make sure that you love what you see both in the daytime and nighttime. Um, hope this is helpful. Hit me up with any questions, and look for those uh, other two videos. Thanks.